Welcome to the review by DJ Spear C. We have the SC SCX24 from Axial here. And one of the mods I did, I did change the tires up for the RC four wheel drive because I didn't feel like the stock tires were scale. Uh, if I put like the stock tire, the, the RC four wheel drive tire I have on it, it's yeah, you see a difference. Uh, I just felt like this was not the correct size for it. That's why I went with these tires here. But today I want to install the hot racing front bumper and the bumper mount. You don't need to go with the aluminum bumper mount. Uh, the stock one will work with this guy, this bumper here. But I just said, why not? Let's put aluminum and it'll be done. One of the first thing I'm going to do is remove the body off the vehicle completely. That way I don't have it dangling in my, in my hands or my way. <clears throat> now I did install lights on this thing. There's two lights in front and there's two lights in the back. And there's even lights for the license plate. But that I'll cover in another video here. You will need a 0 0.05 to be able to remove the front bumper. I'm just going to remove directly off the main, the main uh, chassis. Because I am changing the physical, uh, mount to at the same time it's going to be a lot easier do it this way here now pop the lights out They're hold by two pins on the, each side. They are literally a pain sometimes to remove. Like this guy here right now. There we go. And now we have the physical bumper and the bumper mount off. And what I'm going to try to do here, I'm try to remove a little bit of the glare. Now let's open, put this aside for the moment. And let's open our bumper here. And that's the bumper mount, should I say. Now they do come with physical screws. They are silver. I'm going to reuse the stock ones because I want to keep it black. Now I will need to grab these two guys here. Get these off. Now there is a lot of option for this vehicle. Uh, there is even yay yeah racing that has parts for this there is hot racing um, pretty much name it there is now I'm just looking at the mount here to make sure there's not a lower and an upper I don't see a difference I'm just gonna put it on the bumper now if I compare this guy here it's not fully in, that means we're just gonna, we're just gonna put it in the middle. And screw it in. Because they are a little bit different, both bumpers. 
and I might need to make a modification this one to hide the top of the bumper and I'll show you why in a second here because if you look here you see the mount itself I don't know if it's going to want to focus but if you look at this one here the, the bumper has a piece of plastic that hides everything now we're going to grab our mount I'm going to wait to put the LEDs in because there's nothing I don't think no yeah I don't see anything to hold it I will need I might need to put a little bit of uh, a hot glue no no it's the same both sides I think I did a boo boo here. Let's see here. Yeah, I did. The physical mounts are part of. Uh, I removed that. I should not have to remove that. <laughs> That's what happens when you're not paying attention here. But it's easier to do it this way anyway. Let's remove the mounts off the bumper itself. And let's install it on the bumper. I actually did not notice that. Kind of felt odd. Now you don't want to over tighten these guys because they will strip very fast. Now we'll be able to reinstall this. Uh, makes a lot more sense. Push this all the way in. There we go. And grab our screws and screw the bumper on it. Not the bumper, but the side rails, should I say. And basically, you're just going the opposite of what you were doing in the beginning. And just screwing it back together. And now, pop our LEDs. They do fit very snug into it. There we go. I'll need to fix the wiring here. There we go. Yeah, you won't need to put any glue physically. There's some kind of an oval ring inside that holds them solid. And then you just need to physically reattach your body on it. And 
Now I'm not going to take the time to reattach everything because I need to do something else to it. Then you have your front bumper on it right here. Now if you guys have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.